In this video, I'd like to show you how to solve conversion problems using dimensional analysis, also known as the factor label method and other names. This technique relies on canceling units. And the general setup for dimensional analysis is you begin with the number you want to convert from, or the given number with its units, and you multiply that number by one or more conversion factors. A conversion factor is a physical equivalent and can be represented as a fraction. For example, one dozen equals 12 items, one foot equals 12 inches. And we could represent these physical equivalents as fractions, one dozen over 12 items, one foot over 12 inches. Here is a basic example to illustrate how dimensional analysis is used. Convert 120 inches to feet. So the given information, the number and the unit, is 120 inches. That gets multiplied by a conversion factor set up as a fraction. In this case, 1 foot over 12 inches. It is important that we keep the feet in the numerator of the conversion factor and the inches in the denominator of the conversion factor. Because this technique relies on canceling units. We cancel out the unit that we begin with, which is inches, and we we're able to do that because we're canceling out the inches in the conversion factor in the denominator. So the inches mathematically cancel out. And the unit that we're left with is the feet, which is the desired unit to convert to. Once we've sorted out the math with the units, canceling out the inches, then we carry out the math on the numbers. 120 times 1 divided by 12 is 10, and the remaining unit is feet. Here's another example. Convert 100 feet to inches. We begin with the number that we're given and the unit, 100 feet. And we multiply this by a fraction or a conversion factor. We put feet in the denominator because that feet unit needs to cancel out mathematically with the feet unit and the number we're given. So we see the feet cancel out. The unit in the numerator is the inches, and the 12 goes with the inches, of course, and the 1 goes with the feet. I want to point out that above I have the conversion factor 1 foot over 12 inches. And then in this particular problem, I use the reciprocal of that conversion factor, 12 inches over 1 feet. I did this because I need to have the feet unit in the denominator, so it would cancel out with the feet unit in the number that we were given. It's important to keep in mind that the number and the unit must stay together. In other words, it's not 12 feet over 1 inch or 1 inch over 12 feet. The number and the unit stay paired as they are in the numerator or as they are in the denominator. Here's another basic example. Here we're asked to determine the number of weeks in 679 days. So we identify the given number and unit as 679 days. The conversion factor we're going to use is one week over seven days. The days cancel out, and the math that remains with the numbers is 679 divided by 7, which is 97 weeks. And one final example. Here we're asked to determine the length of time a trip is based on a distance a person travels and the speed at which they travel. Following the format of dimensional analysis, 
427 miles is the given information in this case, or the starting point. 73.8 is actually a conversion factor we're going to use. 73.8 miles per hour can be written as 73.8 miles over one hour, or the reciprocal, one hour over 73.8. In this case, we're going to use the second one hour over 73.8 because we need to have the miles cancel. So the math that we're left to do after the units cancel is 427 divided by 